Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm going to show you the latest addition to our British Modular Library today, which is Sable String Ensembles. And these are ensembles which we've remixed uh, and rebalanced range-wise from the original Sable recordings into an ensemble format library, kind of like our um, Albion Range Library. So you can play with both hands, it's very responsive, they're simpler in detail than um, than the original Sable libraries, um, but we've included the most essential elements of these in long and short formats. So I'm going to go through, I'll walk through the um, various different articulations we have. I'll just get playing so you can hear this library. So as you can see with the long notes, um, you've got the soft attack and hard attack controlled by velocity. You've got dynamics between PP, MF and FF and then non-vib, vib and multi-vib. So if I aim for kind of in the middle of the vibrato range and middle of the dynamic range, it sounds like this. If I play up high, And then you can hear down at the bottom end as well. Now if I show you how the, um, how the dynamics change, you can hear quite clearly here. And then again, if I show you how the vibrato changes. And then obviously if you kind of go full tilt, multi vib and right up at the top, um, you get this sound. And then I'm kind of mixing in some hard attacks there, so you can hear how that sounds as well. So those are the basic longs. Um, let's have a listen to the consorts. Again, we'll kind of go back into the middle of the dynamic and vibrato range. It sounds kind of like this. Really playable, very responsive. Um, we've got our longs sulpont, um, and those go from the P to the F. So the very quiet ones, really superb sound. And then obviously uh, full on. And up here. And then if we have a listen to Soltesto. We've got our Flatando, again, sort of mid dynamic. And again, that's really spectacular up to high up here. If we look at our harmonics.
So lovely sound, and again you've got um, control over your dynamics. So if we have a quick look at the short notes then. So we'll start with our spiccato. I'm doing everything on the O mics at the moment so you can hear the outriggers and then we'll go jump back and have a quick listen to the other mics after. So really dig in at the bottom. And obviously at the top you've got this uh, kind of thing. Sorry about the clams. <laughs> anyway, you can hear you can hear what's going on there. We've got a staccato, which is a slightly longer, more leisurely sound. And then we've got our Consordino shorts. So that's a lovely sound as well. Um, pizzicatos. We've got our Bartok pits. Nice and loose. We've got our Colenios. We've got our Trems. And again, these have the slow attack and the hard attack, so slower attack and then if I cut slightly further into the note basically you don't get that sort of da -da 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 at the start um, and then we've got oh obviously down the bottom you've got so full dynamic range top to bottom uh, and then we've got our minus second trills And then finally, major second trills. So you get the idea of those. So let me uh, flick back to the spiccato. I'll show you um, options from the different mics. So if we look at the close mics first, they sound like this. And then we've got the tree mics. ambient mics, which are the most distant sounding of the mic positions. And obviously back to the outriggers. So you can mix up and match um, just to get exactly what you want the sound wise. So if we, I'll show you, if we go back to the outriggers quickly, it sounds like this. And then if we add in the ambient mics. In addition to that, it sounds like this. So you hear the immediate kind of widening and uh, extra perspective that you get in from having those in. And you can obviously balance them up to get exactly the sound that you want. Um, I'm going to show you quickly while we're in this mode. Um, we have uh, also put in an ensemble palette which has a um, an artificial reverb control as well. So if we, I can show you this most clearly. By, let's go back to the outriggers, and then we'll put in the um, we'll put in the reverb after. So have a quick listen to this, and then if we add in some reverb, 
It's got a really nice silky smooth IR there, I can turn it up. See that's slightly over the top, <laughs> but um, it's an interesting sound. It gives you um, an interesting perspective on the, if you look at the close mics and the way that they're positioned um, to faithfully recreate your sound perspective, um, and then you add in the reverb. It's interesting because that sound is very different from, um, you know, the natural reverb that you get within the hall, which sounds like this. So there's a kind of spatialization that happens there that you just don't get when you're using dry close mic signals and then adding reverb. I mean, obviously we could go, you could go into more detail with them than this by putting in early reflections and tail separately, but it gives you the idea. It's really good um, to kind of combine the two different things, to combine the naturally recorded resonances from the room, all the early reflections and complexity you get from the room signal. And then just for a final little bit of gloss, you add in a bit of, a bit of your um, reverb tail. It just gives you a tiny bit of extra smoothness that you recognize from um, the majority of the kind of film soundtrack recordings and record production recordings that you hear. So that is the, uh, we've got it in this other brushes folder, we've got our cog patches. Um, we've split them up as usual, decorative longs and shorts. Um, you've got the time machine patches, which enable you to do uh, time machine manipulation, making the sample shorter or longer. And then we have our individual brushes. So that's all of the articulations in the library broken down um, into single individual brush patches. Um, so that's uh, Sable Ensembles. It's a fantastic addition to the BMR range. It's an incredibly useful and powerful tool on its own, but in combination with the uh, with the Sable volumes one to four as well, um, it really gives you the best of both worlds. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.